Andy Cohn, she runs Studio 19 at the Spanish Village. You were able to do something with me a couple of years ago that meant a lot to me, and I wanted to share it with other people. My father, he came to visit me here in San Diego in the springtime, and one of the things we got to do was come to Andy's studio and we got to blow glass together. Um, my dad and Andy had just a great connection, and it meant a lot to him to come and, and do that. At fall, my father had a heart attack and passed away. And about a year later, um, I got some of my father's cremains. I knew that it would have meant a lot to my dad and uh, those around us um, if we were able to use some of those cremains making a glass paperweight. And I gave one to my brothers and my mom and, and they absolutely love them. And it's just meant so much to me that I thought I could share that with everybody else. So um, today we are going to make a glass paperweight with with my I had a cat, a wonderful cat named Siva, and he, he made it to the age of 19, and when he passed I had him cremated and he's just been sitting in a box by my bed. And I thought it'd be a really neat idea to make some hearts, glass hearts, with his cremains. Um, since he was around for 19 years, he had so many friends, because he was Mr. Friendly Cat, and I know several of my friends would like a heart with some of Simba's cremains in them. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm putting up what's called a punty, um, and it's a stainless steel rod, um, and you cannot blow through it. There's no place to blow through it. It's just to make solid objects. I'm getting the pipe hot so the glass will stick to it. <laughs> In this tin, there's a small amount of Simba's cremains. What's in these tins are different colors. So I'm going to be making them in the blues and purples and reds. So the uh, amount of cremains that you need is very little. It's a very little amount to make. It's just, just a little bit. And the final product, you'll just see a little bit of gray, which are the cremains, but you'll mostly see the color and the heart. This is the clear liquid glass, and I'm going to do what's called a gather and get a little bit of clear glass on the end. And I'm going to walk right over and pick up some cremains. Alright, and I'm going to melt that in a little bit.
got this drip and kind of pulled around. This way the color and the remains all really mix well. So I'm going to go back and reshape that. That was cool, wasn't it? It was cool. <laughs> Very juicy. Very juicy. into a heart shape. difficult but this is actually really it's really not difficult emotion back to the bench silica that will not melt 
it until it gets to 2300 degrees, and that's not going to happen because this is about 15 or 1600 degrees. So I'm going to knock this off. polish where the glass is attached to hunting. That looks good. And now I'm going to put on, these are Kevlar gloves. Going to pick it up, pick up the heart. There's our heart. And I'm going to place it in the inner. So that now will have to stay in the annealer for six hours at a thousand degrees and then it's on a timer and it will cool slowly overnight and it'll be out tomorrow morning. And you step the temperature down slowly so that basically the piece won't crack? Correct. Alright, I think we're, we're good. Good job! <laughs>